For nearly a quarter century, Mike Freeman has served as the chief prosecutor for Minnesota's largest county. But the longtime Hennepin County attorney is retiring. Today, he sat down with our Lure Goose to reflect on his career. Well, what are you feeling now as you are in your last weeks here? You know, a lot of mixed feelings. Um, it's kind of bittersweet. Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman was born to hold public office, the son of former Minnesota Governor Orville Freeman. Well, now let's go to the other extreme in terms of the Freeman family, and Mike's main interests are in sports these days. After serving in the Minnesota legislature, Freeman was elected county attorney in 1990. After two terms, he made a strong push to follow in his father's footsteps. As governor, I'll put more community police into our neighborhoods and get involved with our kids before they're in trouble. But and it was to not to be. Oh, well, I was crestfallen. Um, it was very difficult. The Hennepin County Attorney's Office can be a powerful force for justice. In 2006, Freeman was elected once again as Hennepin County Attorney where his legacy would be shaped. What are your proudest accomplishments as county attorney? I think I leave a legacy of a very well-trained and professional office committed to justice. In the last 10 years, 17 members of the Hennepin County Attorney's Office have been named judges. When I arrived here in 1991, we had three or four lawyers of color. Today, we have 30% of our lawyers. But despite his work over the years diversifying the office and working with communities on crime prevention initiatives, it was the social justice movement that gave Freeman the most scrutiny. Jim Mark Clark! Jim Mark Clark! Mainly focused on Freeman's declining to file charges against police officers in shooting deaths of black men such as Jamar Clark. I felt that we were being so transparent in providing all this information that people would stop and look at it. I'm afraid a lot of people didn't. We in Hennepin County will not use a grand jury in the Jamar Clark case. We are transparent and we are accountable. My accountability was people in the streets outside my house yelling at me. Freeman feels he was unfairly treated in the crush of events and says in his last days he's working to rebuild the reputation of the office with others. This is a good office with good people committed to justice and I want to make sure that message gets out. And Freeman says he'll wait until at least Labor Day next year before thinking about what comes next for him, although he says it probably won't be practicing law. Concerning the future of the office and incoming county attorney Mary Moriarty, Freeman believes there likely will be some policy changes, but he compares the office to a large battleship. Difficult for one person to, to dramatically change course. Julie. All right. Thanks so much, Lou.